There are so many foods that you didn't know were addictive, and I'm going to tell you about them right now. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And today it's about addictive foods. And I don't think anybody ever considers these types of foods addictive. And it's not uh, potato chips and booze like I'm drinking right now. It's anything other than meat, cheese, and dairy. In other words, anything that is not super duper low carb is addictive. And I'm, I'm going to give you a little, um, I mean, everything other than meat is addictive. I'm going to give you a little case in point here. I, I'm very much carnivore light these days. I'll, my main food of choice is ground beef. I mean, burgers or some sort of ground beef mash up with an egg in it or something. And I, I hardly eat. I just... I eat a little bit and move on, but the other day I picked up some steaks from the uh, from Kings. I got a good deal, surprisingly, and I made two dishes in the last week, um, and they were stir fries, but not really stir fry with rice or noodles or anything like that. It was my own version of a stir fry. One uh, dish I made was uh, I put I threw like a, like a handful, half a handful of peas. I, I thinly sliced some carrots, threw some corn in there, and uh, onions, and I threw some other s s you know, spices in there. And I actually threw like a, like a half a teaspoon of peanut butter to give it a kind of an Asian taste. And I made it for the family, and it was so good. I, I can't give you the recipe. I, I really, it was just on a whim. I, I just do things with the spice cabinet. It was so good, I ate the whole, whole thing. Like, well, well, Everybody ate a lot, but I ate, I finished the dish. And it, it, it's this kind of uncontrolled feeling you have of just wanting more. And then tonight, I made, I took an, the second steak, sliced it up, stir fried. I didn't use the stir fry oil this time, which was cottonseed oil. I used coconut oil this time, thinking that it would make, it might make it a little less addictive. And I just threw, again, a quarter of an onion, thinly sliced, just for flavor. Um, a little bit of garlic, and I, I threw um, a pinch of fresh cilantro and some, uh, a spoonful of pesto sauce and, and some Romano cheese. And I ate the whole thing. I ate the entire thing. Nobody had any but me. And I felt different. And I didn't feel like eating after that, and I was done for the night, and I was fine. I didn't feel hungry. But... While I'm eating, I feel different when I'm eating anything that has vegetables in it. And I think it comes down to the fructose, probably in the onions alone. The onions probably had contributed, contributed to, con, holy mac. The onions contributed a lot of the sugary or sweet addictive taste to the food. And I, I'm telling you, when I eat the meat straight alone, I never feel like, ferocious or, or like ar, 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 non-stop shoveling of food. But when there's any added ingredient, anything, any fresh ingredient other than meat, cheese doesn't bother us, and oils, the good oils like coconut oil. Um, I like using lard, bacon fat. I cook with everything. Butter, butter is good too. But that never like makes me feel like I'm, I'm eating like on some race. But when I put an onion in it or any other kind of uh, vegetables, it changes the entire dynamic. I become completely a different person when I eat this stuff. And I'm shoveling it. I shovel it, and thankfully, it's, it's not, I'm not shoveling fried rice or pizza dough or anything like that. But I think all these other added ingredients just are addictive, and they make you eat more than you should or more than your body wants or needs. So, like, I'm going to cue my Lumberg voice. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, not do that anymore. Yeah, that'd be great. So I'm not going to do that. I want to be in control of what I eat and not the other way around. So if you like what I rambled about today, I'm having bad streak here on my low carb videos. Please hit the like and subscribe and the bell. That would help us out a lot. I'm just an independent video creator trying to get some conversation going online about healthy topics. See you next video. Thank you.